Good morning traders and welcome to today's weekly market analysis Monday the 15th of April. Okay uh, quite a bit of data coming out this week things to look out for um, we have our unemployment numbers locally I think that's on Thursday and New Zealand CPI Wednesday also UK unemployment numbers the claimant count changes due out this week as well so I'll just have it all posted up here have a look there make sure you take note and uh, you're aware of the most significant data for the week ahead in the Forex world all right let's kick off and let's start our analysis let's start off with our local Aussie dollar and uh, I'm looking at here uh, I've just zoomed out to get a, a bit of a, a better picture of this I'm still tracking that um, converging triangle and we have that little zone over here where the market seems to be a little bit clustered um, and it's just uh, trading inside a, a range there so let's zoom in a little bit we are coming up to a key level here okay uh, this is just a look this is not technically a line uh, well I mean I've drawn a line but what I mean is it's not a support level until you actually see this kick off and then you can come back and say yes it's a support level uh, because it can quite easily just shoot straight through so I've got it marked as an area of interest if I get a very strong reversal uh, signal over here then I might be inclined to trade in the upward direction but let's see what happens because again this line is only me drawing it in it is not an actual support level until we get a second level that is uh, bounced off it as well okay so what could happen is uh, it could break through and come down to this level which this is a support level now let me zoom out to show it to you again So that support level has got one touch, two touches, and I've just extended it out over here to the right. So if the market should break through, come to this area, and then over here, it, mind the colors here, I've just drawn it in blue, and, but if it would give us an inside candle pattern, for example, then that would be a signal to become a buyer. So look out for that, and that is the more likely scenario. So let's see if that plays out for us and we do break through and head towards this level down here okay that's the Aussie US this week let's move on have a look at the Euro USD all right the Euro USD we can see that uh, this is an example of what I just drew in the other chart where I just drew a line in there and I said let's see if that point of interest but on this occasion it it um, just it's just gone straight through all right so I'm um, in reality this line can actually just be deleted straight out because it's, it's of no use to us okay and as soon as I delete it out my eye starts to see different things and I've just seen it right now let me just have a look I can let me get rid of this top one for a moment and I'm starting to see that there's the possibility I just let me try and line them up a little bit you can see how I am maneuvering my charts okay so what I like about this particular chart is first of all here yeah, we've got one two and we're on a third touch right now okay also I've drawn that top line just to have a look at the slope and I like that uh, it's not look ideally it would have been this level here would have been up there and I would have had a really nice channel falling channel um, I just drew it in just to have a look I'm more interested in the bottom line um, I'm on a key level here so what I'm looking for straight away right now if I get an inside candle pattern occurring right now that's it that's my signal to become a buyer in this particular market okay um, and all this started off was with deleting the line that I had left on a chart taking us a, a different view and all of a sudden I could see this channel forming for me so if for example the pattern should stay exactly as it is right now okay now this is a brand new candle. today's candle still 23 odd hours to complete but should it finish let's say looking like this okay then tomorrow morning at the break of that that's it I will be a buyer on that one so this one's on high alert we are very very close to seeing if we can uh, get that confirmation all right so there you have it that's the euro USD let's move along have a look at the US yen US yen 
Let's zoom out for one moment. Okay, I had that line there. Now that high was all the way back from 2022. So it's a couple of years ago. Um, it left a mark in the in it left a level in the market. Repeat it again. It hovered there for a little bit. Remember, I said last week. Look, it's just going, going, and going, and then finally it's broken through. It is more likely now that it will kick on a bit further, um, but the pattern that it's left is not a, a, a pattern that I want to participate with. So what I'm more inclined to do with this one, it, I'll just zoom down a little bit, is let it run out of steam, come back, and on the pullback, I'll look for a reversal pattern to continue into the trend like that, okay? So there you have it, nice and easy, US Yen this week. Let's move over to the cable, the GBP USD. Okay, another example where I had a line drawn in, thinking I was interested to see what may happen over here. If I got a really strong signal, I would be interested in perhaps uh, becoming a buyer. No such signal came, and instead we've broken straight through. So the first thing we can do is let's get rid of that line because it's no use to us at all and now let me zoom out why have I got this line in the bottom let me zoom out okay I'm tracking this bottom level we've had one two and just two only let's zoom back in all right so what I'm looking for here is let's see if this market can come further down into this region here over here if it can produce for me that nice reversal price action that I always look for then I will be happy to become a buyer in this particular market. Okay, nice and simple, GBP USD, put it on your radar. Um, we need to come down a little bit more, and if we can start to get a reversal in this region somewhere on that line, then I'll be happy to participate with this particular uh, pair. All right, so there you have it, GBP USD. Let's move and have a look at oil, WTI. Okay, oil now is in a really nice trend, okay? Now remember last week I said let's look for any kind of pullbacks so that I can become a buyer. Now if I look at this cluster of candles, that's the week that's just gone by, the last five candles, I never really got the signal. So what I'm doing is I'm holding out a little bit. In an ideal world, and let me change colors so that I can draw it for you a little bit better. In an ideal world, it would be great if this candle, maybe we get one candle go down, maybe one more like this and then followed with a blue candle something like that giving me a nice inside candle pattern in these two over here and then that would be my signal to become a buyer and I'm trying to buy into the trend so I'm looking for the market to pull back a little bit show me that the market on that pullback is exhausted and reversing back again in the direction of the trend and then taking advantage of that and trying to buy there. All right, so that's what we're looking for with oil. Last one for the week. Let's move along and have a look at gold. Okay, gold, similar story. We're in a very big trend from there and it's quite steep. So what I'd like to see is I'd like to see it pull back into around about this region visually it looks really nice to my eye and then if it in pulls back to this region gives me the reversal that I'm looking for then I will be happy to become a buyer and continue in the direction of the trend okay so there you have it that's uh, the forecast or what we're seeing in the market for this particular week guys I'll post it up here again just have a look at the news that we have uh, coming out this week again the highlights Australia unemployment numbers due out Thursday New Zealand CPI also the UK unemployment numbers in the claimant count change due out to this week take note of the data have a great trading week and I'll speak to you next week for the weekly market analysis bye for now